Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I'm gonna get back on the Sun Dancer, the Sea Ray Sun Dancer project, uh, converting it from the 5.7 liter gas that I pulled out right there to the 1.7 liter Mercruiser turbo diesel. Um, let me show you a little bit of stuff that's about to happen right here, and I'm gonna point out a few things to you about some parts and stuff I have, and some things that I'll point out to you that was further neglect on that original drive line in the boat. So here we are with some of the parts I shipped from the US for the Mer Cruiser. And we'll go down through here. We've got the exhaust tubes right here. We've got the transom plate. Uh, we'll come back and talk about that transom plate. We've got the out drive unit right here. And as you'll see, this is Mercury Diesel. Um, everything's set up heavier. Now, honestly, in this this particular unit right here, I have not researched yet to know if there's actually any difference between this housing and the housing that's already in there. But I do know that in this unit, there's a big difference because it has a different gear ratio and it is supposed to have different bearings as well for the torque of that diesel. And as well, this prop on the lower unit right here is also pitched different and I think there's a little bit of difference in the strength of the gears um, man somewhere I think I read that there might have been a difference in taper even on the bearings some of you mechanics out there may know um, I'm not 100% sure about that and then there's the shaft that goes up through it right there um, I do have a dorsal fin that came along with this when I got it um, some other things here we'll move on down is this is the control for it uh it's got throttle and shift right here now this is the one that actually came with that diesel unit i will most likely put this one back in there because i know without a doubt that these cables are set up for that 1.7 liter mercury diesel which is now branded as a cummins diesel which is actually built by zuzu crazy world right this boat already has the tilt motor in it right now, and it's nice to have an extra one anyway. Coming back up here, this is a switch for my batteries. Now, there's a switch already in this boat up there, over into the side in a little compartment, but it's just the on off only. It does not switch for multiple batteries. Where this one has off just one battery, all the batteries or the second battery you can put it in between and run one and two batteries so most likely i'll go with this one and swap out now the cables are heavier in that boat but um they're really not the proper cable i'll probably buy one more cable i have the hydraulic tool for putting the the ends on and putting them on there really well and so I can use the two that's in there and just make up one more additional cable and keep them all real heavy gray. Now, coming back over here to this, I'm going to go over here and show you a couple things on this existing outdrive. Neglect, neglect, neglect. So the sacrificing anodes are missing right here. You see those two bolts sticking up. We'll go back and look at those in, on the other unit. And it's missing right here as well. And that's not good. I don't know how long this thing was run without those, but it's not good that it was run without those because that means that if these weren't sacrificing, then something else was having to sacrifice then. But none of this stuff's gonna get reused here. Um, so we are not too concerned about that. There's some other little things that are missing as well. Uh, well, you got another anode. You've got the stainless steel cables that connect in between the parts. I see a lot of those are not connected up. That's very important to keep it. Um, the electricity is flowing through. Salt water especially makes a lot of current. Um, and you need to have all those cables connected. Coming over here. You can see them right here on those cylinders. There's those anodes. These need to be replaced but at least they're there. 
Here's this anode. It too needs to be replaced, but at least it's there. And I have a brand new one for it already, but I don't have those. I'll need to order those. But I do have a brand new one for that one. Underneath the bottom, right here. That one there, it is there and it looks really rough. In here on this unit, it's on here and it looks in pretty good shape. That one's still very usable. But I'll go ahead and order a new one and have it on hand anyway. I'll probably order several of each to have backups. What else we're going to look at here? So I said we was going to go back to this plate here. Um, this one has damage. This one that came with a diesel motor. It's broke off here and around here. I have those pieces. Um, I'm going to look at the one that's already in the boat is exactly the same and if it is i'll use the ones in the boat instead of this one and again coming back here with this plate that one's the one that's damaged i have one more besides the one that's in the boat as well the plate looks to be in really good condition on it as well so every which one's the best is the one i'll use So this should be ready to come loose. Oh, it is. It came loose immediately. So there's that right there. Man, just look at the mess. What a mess. Look at this big old glob of epoxy right here. My goodness. Look at that. That's all epoxy. Is somebody jammed in there? Just absolutely insane. Well, I knew it when I bought it. I seen all that already. And I knew I was ripping all this out anyway. But it's still, it's just absurd. And it does create a little bit more work. I've got to get down in here. Get all this off this nut. Some on this one. Up here on this one. That's all epoxy. That, what they call a two-part marine epoxy here. Very commonly used throughout this country. Yep. Nothing but a mess. Man, just look at this mess right here. Look at this. Look at this big old just globs of freaking epoxy, man. Just patching, patching, patching. Instead of improper fit, instead of properly fixing it. I want to show you some of that, but I'm not going to try to work holding this camera, but got me a bunch of tools here right now and picks and scrapes and stuff to try to get in here and start working all of this out. And man, that epoxy, I use that stuff. It holds pretty darn good. So it's going to be a little challenge getting it out of here. All right. So we're down in here and as you can see, I got these two top nuts off. Uh, I've got this one off right down in here. I broke loose a couple more there and that one that has the epoxy all over it I'm actually able to back it up and I've got it maybe about halfway right now there is some epoxy still deep down in those threads so it's a slow go but it is coming out I need to go ahead and take this um, power steering off of here and the steering cable and get that out of the way I took the top bolt out already I need to re 
lease a keeper right there and loosen off of that bolt and get it out of the way. Well, I'm pretty excited. I am down to just one Phillips screw in here and then I can drop this unit off the back of the boat right there. The place was these, where these bond on here is right around this bushing right here. And when you try to use the impact, it's bonded in there and this is rubber in between right here, okay? That black, that's rubber. That's a sleeve around the rubber, just like on a shock absorber, the eye of it, or like a um, lower A-frame or something on your car's front end. And this is a thin little metal sleeve right here. And the bolt goes down in there and what it does, it bonds itself right down between that very tight tolerance between the bolt and there. And if you put something like an impact, it just shakes in the rubber. The rubber absorbs all the energy of the impact, so the impact's useless. And that's the problem on that. And then you get this part here too, is also bonded out here on this. And so when you're trying to do anything, all you're doing is shaking the, the rubber in there. When you try to twist it, all you're doing is twisting on the rubber and you get a really rubbery effect, even with a breakover bar. All right, so there it is. This is all loose. And I should be able to just get it on back out of the way right here. There it is. Just look at that. What a mess. I can see it really, really ate up with salt. Just look at that. I can see that's actually metal right there. Look at that. See, that is actually part of that plate. Ate right out of the back of it. From salt, from ground straps like this, not being everywhere they belong. Uh, cut the anodes um, missing or just completely depleted and not replaced yeah you see it look right there see that salt is no joke man that that is the aluminum casting this is made out of literally getting liquefied Boy, that was a job getting this loose. They had epoxied it so, because the case is completely ate away right here. Look at this. Yeah, completely ate through. Look at this. And they had just tried to epoxy all of that up in there with globs of epoxy. And ate this bolt here up. Ate this one all the way in too. When I went to unbolt it, it had just, popped right into it with nothing left to it this one also and so with that glob so much marine epoxy in there it had bonded itself in here to the transom and uh, I had knock a chisel just a little bit out right there I'll get in there and clean that up and touch that up and make sure everything's all good on it and we'll uh, start a cleanup process now a fix-up process not the demolition's gone but see without a doubt all this had to be changed and I bought this boat as a non-functioning boat um, figuring that there's gonna be all kinds of stuff like this I absolutely did I seen all of that when I was buying it that they had this epoxy the holy crap out of it that it had salt water been leaking in so I'd already knew that these were all going to be a problem but it didn't matter because once I could get it all apart like now I'm going back in with all good parts so I drug it over here by the the one that's going back in just want to give you a little for instance just look at this mess this is the old one out of it just look at that and that's what it should look like look at that once I clean this up 
that's what it should look like right there and look at that so definitely a mess and that one needs some much needed care also i need to clean those bolts up really good uh get them protected and just give all that a really good deep cleaning before we start a reassembly process and we'll go through on the back of the boat in there on all the wiring harness put um good new quality ends on any wires that's got um a terminal or anything on it just want to go through and just really clean all that up i want to clean that engine compartment really well uh scrub try to remove any staining or anything like that and i've got some led lights some 12 volt strips that i'm going to put down in that engine bay as well for lighting i want to go ahead and put those in so i'm at a turning point now because i finally got it all pulled out of here appreciate you all watching uh thank you for your support always I know some of you ladies out there, the boat stuff and me doing mechanic work may not be your forte. Just stick around next video. Maybe we will have something that is of value to you. Uh, just appreciate you all watching me work on this and all and support me through it. Everybody, we'll see you later.